God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is worthy. Amen. Amen. He is worthy. Amen. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, sisters, friends, and family, thank you all for coming near and far to celebrate this special occasion with us. I must say that I and the others over here have made it. We've become one of the now 216 graduates Heritage Academy has seen since 1995, but it wasn't easy getting here. We've made it through 1,200 vocabulary words to pop quizzes from math tests to finals and ice storms to blue skies. But nonetheless, we made it. But how did I get here? I'll tell you. It all started four score and 16 years ago when Little Creek was established then one score and two years ago, Heritage Academy was, and then five score and five weeks ago, that is two years, I sat where you are right now, right about there. Um, I was not a student of Heritage, Heritage Academy though, just an innocent bystander on a long and arduous quest for where he was to go for his junior and senior year of high school. Heritage was never a thought for me until a couple of days before I maxed out my 11 years at Greenville Adventist Academy, since it only went to 10th grade, when Brian said he was thinking of coming here. So I decided to visit for my friend Bryce's graduation in 2014 to check it out. I didn't know what to expect when we pulled onto the infamous grav um, dusty gravel roads of Heritage that day as we passed the greenhouses but we eventually found the gym and had a seat right before the seniors marched in. I had visited many graduations in the preceding weeks, hearing conference presidents, valedictorians, and the like speak. But coming here and hearing the senior speeches, which really is their testimony, was in stark contrast from what I was expecting and had heard before. Hearing their testament of how they found Jesus here really decided for me what I was looking for in a school, and thus I came. Looking back though, I never thought the past two years would have gone the way it has. My experience at Heritage has been, first of all, busy. My friend from church, Tim Luttrell, who was a graduate of Lower Brook, um, counseled me before I came to learn everything you could because I'd probably never have the opportunity again. I listened, but consequently, my only time to, to study was an hour after evening worship but somehow, God has brought me through. I've learned so many things here, from gardening, grounds, kitchen, to video production and application development, to construction, disaster response, how to fly an airplane, and the list goes on. But my experience here has been more than that, though. It has also tested my faith in more ways than one. I've never had that one conversion experience, but through different circumstances, God has really showed himself to me here. He says in Jeremiah 29, 13, and you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. That was my prayer, and God has really tested me to stand in his promises. I saw him work in amazing ways in disaster response settings when proclaiming the promise in Romans 8, 28, which says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. God was faithful with this promise more than once, and he has answered my prayers in more ways than I could have even asked for. As a result, this has really strengthened my faith in him. Heritage's mission statement to encourage young people to experience, live, to learn, experience, live, and share Christ is true. It was here that I learned more than ever about, I, more than I ever have about spiritual things, experienced Christ in many different ways, been challenged to actually live what I believe, and have had amazing opportunities to share Christ. It was here that I had my first Bible study in which I actually understood what I believed. It was here that I learned what it meant to make your religion your own, not just to be an Adventist because it's your parents' religion, but because God wants us to exercise his gift of free will and what God has said in his word above all things. It was here that, I really be that it really became real to me that I am not my own. It was here 
that I truly saw the love of Jesus in the hearts and mind of the people, which is ultimately their most powerful testimony. It was here where I learned to be a true follower of Christ. And for that, Heritage was the best decision I've ever been privileged to take. Heritage has given me the opportunity of leadership and to guide others in their spiritual walk. That has helped me grow also. Praying for other students as the RAs did and then seeing uh, God work in their lives in response to your prayer is powerful. It joys my heart to see other young people take a stand for God and to become one of God's peculiar people. To the juniors and now seniors of Heritage Academy and the rest of the school for that matter, we pass on the torch of leadership that has been given to us to you. Not just physical leadership, but spiritual leadership. This school will live and breathe Christ only if you want it to. You have to make that decision. Seniors, it's been real. <laughs> Thank you for everything. We've had our ups and downs, but I'll truly miss each and every one of you. I pray that we may cross paths again, and I pray that each of us will be part of that 144,000 we talk about so much in Bible class. <laughs> I pray that each of us will be found faithful so that if we don't cross paths again here on this earth, we will have a class reunion under the tree of life. Ellen White says this in Education, page 297. To always remember there is something better. Whatever Christ asks us to renounce, remember he offers in its stead something better. Often the youth cherish subjects, pursuits, and pleasures that it may not appear to be evil, but that, falls, but that falls short of the highest good. They divert the life from its noblest aim. Let them be directed to something better than display, ambition, or self-indulgence. Bring them in contact with truer beauty, with loftier principles, and with nobler lives. Let us behold the one altogether lovely. When once the gaze is fixed upon him, the life find its center. The enthusiasm, the generous devotion, the passionate ardor of the youth find here their true subject. Duty becomes a delight and sacrifice a pleasure. To honor Christ, to become like him, to work for him is the, li is the life's highest ambition and its greatest joy. Remember to always keep God's word as a lamp into your feet and a light into your path. Thank you, Heritage Academy, for all you have done for me. I don't know where I would be if I didn't come here. And never forget, seniors, what we have learned here, especially the spiritual things. And I'll see you there wearing those white robes. Thank you. <laughs>